Hey everyone, Micah here with Electrek, and today I'm coming to you from sunny Azusa, California, where I'm visiting CSC Motorcycles to test ride their new FT750 series electric bicycles. It comes in two models, got the 26 inch model and the 20 inch over here. They've got fat tires, which make them great for riding on sand like this, or trails, or even on the street. So we're going to try all three here, and you're coming along for the test ride. When CSC says that these are all-terrain e-bikes, they mean it. My test ride on the bikes only lasted for one afternoon, but together with Kevin from CSC and Electrek's own Fred Lambert, who you guys probably already know, we covered a ton of different types of terrain for the testing. The FT750 series of e-bikes are the first e-bikes offered by CSC Motorcycles, and I can already say that it's fascinating watching how a low-cost motorcycle company approached its first e-bike design. They kept the price in the moderate range at $1,688, but for that price, they put some very nice components on the bike. The 650 watt hour batteries use genuine Samsung 35E cells and are integrated into the frame in the case of the 26 inch model and only barely stick out of the frame on the 20 inch model. Both bikes use dual piston hydraulic disc brakes from Shimano and also have Shimano drivetrains, including the shifter and derailleur. The bikes include front and rear LED lights that run off of the main battery of the bike, and the headlight isn't some dinky little plastic light, but rather a more rugged, high-powered light. There aren't other cheap parts like plastic pedals or plastic chainring guards either. Everything is metal and built like you'd expect a quality e-bike to be made. The suspension fork even offers both preload and damping adjustment, as well as a lockout, which is an upgrade over most budget suspension forks that only offer more rudimentary preload adjustment. So while the build quality is definitely good for a $1,600 e-bike, the area I will ding the bikes on is that they don't come standard with racks or fenders. Those are both available as add-on accessories, though I always prefer to see them as standard equipment when I can, since I consider them to be pretty important for most daily riding. But at least they're an option, so I won't cry too much about that. Speaking of optional accessories, not only does CSC stock a bunch of them, but they also have a warehouse full of spare parts, which is something that comes from their motorcycle routes. If anyone has a problem with a bike, they can get a replacement part out to them in as little as a day or two. So while CSC doesn't shy away from the fact that their bikes are built in Asia, despite being designed by CSC, they at least make sure to offer US level support, so the customers get the feel of working with an American company. Okay, so that's enough background. Now let's shift over to the ride, where I can confirm that these e-bikes are the real deal. The 750 watt continuous rear motors are powerful and torquey, easily putting out over a kilowatt of peak power. They perform well, even in loose sand, which is a good torture test for fat tire bikes, since sand requires so much more power to ride through than pretty much any other surface. Between the two models, the 20 inch bike is more nimble and easier to flick around, while the 26 inch model is better for rolling over larger obstacles. I'm not exactly the best sand rider, but I had fun screwing around on both of them anyways. They both work well on trails too, but this is where the 26 inch model probably shined even more. Those bigger wheels roll over just about anything, and with the large air volume in the tires combined with the front suspension, it almost feels like a full suspension e-bike. Almost, but not quite. The 20 inch bike was also good on the trails, and to be honest, I probably preferred it for an all around bike. I'm 5 foot 7 or 170 centimeters, and while I fit on both bikes just fine, the 20 inch model can accommodate shorter riders since it has a seat that goes to a lower minimum height. In fact, the 20 inch model almost feels like a little fat tire electric BMX bike, which again just makes it fun to kind of screw around on and cruise with. In my opinion, both of the bikes are a good example of the way the industry appears to be moving right now. Mid-level prices with slightly better than mid-level specs, good suspension, great hydraulic brakes, quality parts, and companies that are offering increasingly personal levels of service. And that's all good news for the e-bike industry in my book. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that first test ride of the CSC FT750 series e-bikes. If you want to check them out yourself, you can head on over to csc-ebikes.com. If you enjoyed this video, we hope you'll give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can check out more awesome electric vehicle videos just like this one. We'll see you next time, everyone.